Hello everyone, uh, thanks for joining in. So this is another video here just uh, showing some troubleshooting tips on Arc Survival Ascended for your dedicated server. Um, the process has somewhat changed from the last video I had. Uh, before we were basically just running it from Steam. Uh, now we have to log in anonymously through Steam CMD and I'm going to show you how to make a batch file to update and launch the server. Um, it's pretty similar to my previous videos if you watched the first video on Steam CMD. But yeah, let's just jump right in. I just want to start off just by saying uh, thank you everyone for all the support. Uh, thanks for watching the videos and commenting. I'm um, trying to answer as, as much as I can. It, it can be a little bit overwhelming trying to answer all the questions, but I do appreciate uh, you guys watching. I'm happy that a lot of you were able to get the server going, and I do appreciate uh, those who did subscribe to the channel. It does give me a reason to keep making these videos. Um, so let's just get going here. I'm going to show you how to make the update server bat and how to make the uh, start server bat and what we need to do every time we start the server. All right, so the first thing we need to do if you follow the easy method is we're going to need to install Steam CMD. If you followed my first video, this, this is already installed on your PC. But we're going to go to this website here. I'll put the link here for you. And we're going to click on downloading Steam, Steam CMD. We're going to click on Windows. And if you follow the, the instructions here, it says to create a folder. So we're going to go... For this, we're just, if you follow my video, just use the same path as me. But we're going to go to C, and I'm just going to create a new folder here. And we're going to call it like that, Steam CMD. And then we are going to download Steam CMD. Open the file. And we're going to copy this right here. And we're going to drop that into our new folder that we created. Paste that there and just run it. I'm just giving a minute here to download some files. We can just type quit. And there we go. We have all these files downloaded. All right, from here on the PC that's holding the server, we're gonna to wanna to create two batch files. So we're gonna right click on our dedicated server Manage Browse Local Files. And from here, we're going to go to Shooter Game Binaries Windows 64. So we basically want to find our Windows 64 folder. This is the path. I'll put the path here for you. So we're going to right click. We're going to do New. Or actually, no, we're going to open up Notepad. And we're going to basically paste the command here. I'll put the command here on the screen for you. But this will be the command. And we are going to save that into the same spot as our folder, as our server. So the same, same path as before. And we're just going to call this one update server dot bat set that to all files and hit save after that we're going to create another one and i'll put the command here as well for it that is right here so this will be our batch file to start the server um so if you want mods, this is where you would put the mods. If you watch my previous video, this is where it would be. So this, you don't have to have this if you're not planning to have mods. Uh, dash crossplay, this seems like a new thing we have to put on for, to enable crossplay. Some are saying it's enabled by default, but others are saying to put it on. So uh, it's up to you if you want to put that on, if you want to play with other consoles. And session name, we'll just put the name of our session. We're not going to put like our server password here. Uh, and I'll put I'll put it on the screen here for the command and the same thing we're going to save that in the same spot the windows 64 and we're going to call this one start server dot bat all files hit save now when we go here we should see two files one start server one update server 
Um, the last thing we need to do is need to check our game user settings. All right, so from here, we're going to go again, browse local files. We're going to go to shooter game, saved, config, Windows Server. And this is the path. I'll put the path here for you as well. We're going to open up game user settings. Um, so same place as before as my last videos. Um, but one thing I did notice is that um, it's better to have your server admin password and server password here in the game user settings. For some reason, if you add it to the batch file, some things don't like to cooperate. So it's better to have as little as possible into the batch file and most of your stuff in the game user settings or the game.ini, depending on like what the mod requires. Um, so I just usually just put just the just the session name and that's it. Everything else will go here. So a query port, port, server admin password, server password, and all of our other modifiers. If you uh, watch my other video on how to do the server settings, this is where all that goes. This is where you can also set like your PVP, your PVE, your XP multiplier, your taming, harvest, uh, all that good stuff. All right, once we've uh, updated our, our batch file and we've checked our game user settings, we're ready to start the server. Uh, one thing to mention, any time that you do make any changes to the game user settings, you do need to update the server. Otherwise, it may not broadcast. So we're going to go back to our Windows 64 and we're going to double click on update server. Once everything is created, once you've transferred over all your server settings, you set up all your, your name, your players, all that, all your mods. Basically, double-click update server. And as long as everything, as long as the path is correct in the batch file, you should have no problem. It should update the server. It will verify if there are any updates, it will update. And also make sure that Steam is in online mode again. Once that's done, it will close on its own. And then we'll just... We'll start our server. All right, once the server is running, at the time of this video, the newest version for ARC is 32.24. If you're not showing this version, uh, maybe double click the update server.bat like once or twice. It's funny because as I was recording this video, this version came out and I wasn't able to join. <laughs> so, you know, the updates come out pretty, pretty frequently. Make sure you're on the, on the newest one. If you're not, there might be something wrong with the command. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll try and help you out with that. But once that is up and running, 32.24, then on this on the PC, we're just going to look up the server and we should show a new thing to note is that they added a new option here, show player servers. I noticed that if this is not checked, it is not showing up for me. So this is a new feature. Make sure that is checked and make sure you're set to all here and the correct map is set and you should be able to join no problem and for me i put in a, a mod here this is a turkey trial but we just put in our password and we should be able to join i'm dead right now but <laughs> but yeah that's pretty, basically the end of the video uh let me know if this was helpful appreciate uh, everyone watching today and if uh, you did find it helpful uh uh feel free to subscribe to the channel like any uh any support is greatly appreciated and helps me to keep making these videos all right thanks guys